What is going on, everybody? This is Stry Dogs here, bringing you a new video. And this is going to be a little bit different, and I think I'm going to start doing this little series uh, every Sunday, which I think would be pretty awesome, Like I, in my opinion. I don't know about y'all, but in my opinion, and I think I'm going to be doing this every Sunday. So what I'm going to be doing, guys, um, every Sunday, because uh, I've been going to church lately and things like that, we are going to, I'm going to be talking about some things that uh, my pastor was talking about at church. And I, I'm going to try to, I guess, explain it the best way as possible from what I understood and things like that. Uh, guys, before we get started, I, my, uh, I'm, I get easily sidetracked. Um, I have to really pay attention to what someone's someone saying. And then even, even then, I would, I would I have to look back like once or twice just to really comprehend it. So, um, again, I'm not, the, I guess, the smartest at this subject, which I'm, I'm, I'm just now, like, it's about three weeks ago, getting, in, getting into God and the Bible and things like that. So I'm still um, in the process of uh, reading the Bible and understanding everything completely to the fullest. But, um, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it, and we'll see what happens. We'll just roll with it, you know? But anyways, guys. So obviously, I have my Bible right here and whatnot. And uh, and by the way, I'm excited about this. I'm like extremely excited. Oh my gosh! But anyway, so pretty much um, today, which is October 25th, we um we went over a in Acts. What I, I, don't, I can't really show y'all, but anyways, in Acts 18, uh, chapter or chapter 18, uh, verse nine. He said, "The Lord spoke to Paul in the night, in the night uh, through a vision." And here's what he said, uh, as in Jesus, "Do not be afraid, but speak." Uh, he said, "Do not be afraid, but speak, and do not be silent, for I am with you, and no one shall attack you and hurt you, and I have many people in this city." So. What I understood from that, guys, this is what we, this is what my pastor was talking about today. He was talking about um, spreading the gospel, like spreading the word of God and things like that. And in my eyes, like in my eyes, the way I see things, guys, if you're not if you're not a believer, if you're not, you know, into it, you know, into God and the Bible and things like that. Um, and the thing, okay, like the thing was before I really got into the you know God and the Bible and things like that. Uh, I would say about a month ago. Um, I believed in God, but I wasn't as you know big as it as I am now. But my days were kind of like sluggish, and I wasn't as I mean I was a happy person, but I wasn't like as happy as I am now. I'm just like it's like ever since a month ago, it's like my I'm like my spirit. Just, I'm like just uplifted. I can't even explain it, guys. And I, like those of y'all who aren't who doesn't like you know read the Bible, go to church, things like that. I don't know if y'all will really truly understand, but it's. It's another feeling that you get, like it's like it's like a high. You just get so high off of off of all of this, and you're just so happy and just want to talk about it. And, and I'm serious, y'all have to trust me. It is amazing, guys, and it will do wonders in your life, man. Like it will if you're going through a hard time in your life, reading the Bible and talking to God and praying. Like it helps so much. You might think it might be stupid, but it like so many people in this world who do do this, man. It it helps out, guys, I promise. But anyway, so what I got from this message, I'll read it again. Uh, do not be afraid, but speak, and do not be silent. For I am with you, and no one shall attack you and hurt you, for I have many people in this city. So pretty much he's saying, like, spread the word, and don't be afraid of people criticizing you, talking bad about you, because at the end of the day, they're not... It should it shouldn't affect you. They're, it's like almost they're they're scared of of allowing Jesus or in God in their life, and that's what they're being offended offended by. Does that make any sense? Like they're not being offended by like you coming to them and uh, trying to help them get saved or whatever it may be. Is they're they're not allowing God in their life to get to help them get saved. So they're just like, oh my gosh, no, 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 no. I mean, I don't, I, I can't, I'm a terrible explainer of things, but I comprehend it. That's all that matters. So I'm just, that's like I said, I'm going to try to explain everything the best way I can. So pretty much like spread the word and no matter what, at the end of the day, God's going to you know be grateful for what you, what you are doing and that you tried or whatever it may be. And, um, 
and yeah, you know, pretty much that's that. That's pretty much what we talked about spreading the, the gospel today, and uh, like that. And I'm, I'm gonna try to remember the story that he told me. Okay, so imagine you have two guys. Okay, two guys. I'm just gonna say a guy. I mean, it can be two a girl and a guy. But I'm just gonna say two guys. So you have one guy. Uh, he gets paid one hundred dollars every time he brings up the situation to somebody about God. Like, hey, this is God. You know, now do whatever you need to do. If you you know whatever, and then the other person gets paid two thousand dollars for each person that gets saved, and each person that gets saved spreads the word to somebody else. Does that make sense? So that one guy spreads the word to somebody and has them saved. He gets two thousand dollars. The person who gets saved now tells someone else about God, okay? So that's just how that's how God works. When someone gets saved, you just want to talk and talk and talk about it, you know? Um anyway, so now hold on, I gotta I gotta put the Bible down on a second. Um so the one person that is just talking about God to someone, and they're not getting saved, okay? So just they're just talking to someone. So now they have two people, okay? And the person that he picked that he talked about doesn't go tell anybody, okay? There's only one, that one guy. That one guy is explaining to everybody uh, about God. Not it once they once he explains it to somebody, they don't they don't they don't talk about him because they're not saved, right? So so now they have two people. Well, the other guy, okay, talks to someone and they get him saved, okay? So they both have two people. Well, the person who got saved. Now he goes and tells someone and gets them saved, okay? So now that's three. And uh, the person who started off, the first person here, first person, also gets somebody. It, it, okay, long story short, I can't explain very things very well, but the one person tells somebody, and then once the, the, these two people here, they multiply and tell two, two more people, and then these four have to go tell people, okay? You get what I'm saying? It keeps going to eight. The 12, the 24, it's because they're saved and they're telling people and getting them, them saved. While the other person over here is is saved, but he's only he's getting paid $100 just to talk about it, not help him get saved. So the person that he talks about, it talk, or talks to that person, and they don't get him saved. So the, the second person doesn't want to talk to other people about it, just the first person. So he's only picking up one person at a time. Does that make sense? He's only picking up one person at a time, while the other person is picking up, like he's multiplying. He's picking up other people that are talking about it as well. Is that I like? That's the best way I can explain it. Like I said before, it's the best way that I can I can I can comprehend it. So I'm just gonna explain it the best way that I can. <laughs> but anyways, guys, this is awesome. But um, another thing I want to talk about, guys, uh, uh, in Matthew chapter chapter seven verse uh fifteen. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see this or not. It is right there. Is it, is it, let's see if it'll zoom in. I don't know if it'll zoom in or not, but um, it's called A Tree and Its Fruit. Now listen to this, guys. Listen. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are uh, ravenous wolves. Okay? So good people who act, or bad people who act good. Okay, that actually aren't. Uh, you would know them by their fruit. Now they're they're using this as an expression, as their fruit, as their 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 manner, their the personality. Okay, do men gather grapes from thorns or figs from thistles? Okay, even so, every good tree bears a good fruit, but a corrupt tree bears evil fruit. A good tree cannot bear evil fruit nor can a corrupt tree bear good fruit. Does that make sense? So a good tree cannot have bad fruit, evil fruit. Okay? Does that make any sense? And every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down. Okay? And thrown into fire. So every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into fire. Therefore, by their fruit you will know them. That meaning, you will know them as how they express themselves about God and Jesus and things like that. You'll understand them from the, like from that, from being a good fruit, bad fruit, as in like an evil fruit who who like just despises it and don't doesn't want, want to talk about it, don't won't allow him in your life, things like that. Again, guys, 
That's how I'm comprehending it, okay? There might be other ways to comprehend it, but this is how I comprehend it. Um, so you can't perform bad acts, okay, bad acts of around this world and be a good, be good. Does that make sense? It's, it's really, it's, it's hard to explain, but I comprehend it, I understand it, and I'm trying to just uh, express this to y'all. And um, another thing I want to talk about, this last thing I want to talk about, guys, is, uh, and again, Matthew's uh, chapter 7, judging others. Judge not that you be not judged, for with what judgment you judge, you will be judged. Is that okay? Let me reread re- re- that. Judge not that you be not judged, for with what judgment you judge, you will be judged. So you judge other people, you will be judged, okay? Uh, and with the measure you use, it will be measured again for you. Okay, here's here's where it gets good. Here's where it gets good. And why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not consider the plank that is in your own eye? Why do you see all the flaws in somebody else, okay, when you have flaws in your own self that you had to take care of first? Like, take the speck, take the plank, the plank as in there's something in your eye. You need to take that out first before you can see clear enough of what someone else is, what's happening to somebody else. Um... Okay, so okay, so take the plank and uh, that is in your own eye. Okay, or how you will say, to, or uh, wait, hold, on, hold on, or how will you say to your brother, "Let me pull the speck out of your eye," when a log is in your own eye? You hypocrite! First, take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck the speck out of your brother's eye. Do not give what is holy to the dogs. Or throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under your feet and turn around and attack you. Okay? So, judging others, guys. Like, people always say, don't judge a book by its cover. Okay? Like, so, what, what, I, underst- what I comprehend from what I just told y'all, guys, like, before you start, like, bringing somebody down and talking down to someone, talking crap online, over the internet, in person, whatever it may be, like, you don't know what someone's going through, guys, like, they're, you don't understand, you, like, in their own mind, in their heart, like, you don't understand what someone can be going through, someone's something so serious, you just never knew, and you're judging them out of nowhere, you know, like, there's no need to be that, get on that level to where you have to bring somebody down, like, always be, like, positive and supportive about stuff, like, no matter, bring it into... You can bring it into video games in real life, your family, friends, whatever it may be, man. Like, you judging another person will not make you a better person. You're, it makes you the same person that judged you. Like, does that make sense? Like, you have, like it was saying, the plank in your eye. Take that out first before you start seeing the speck in someone else's eye. Clear your, your like, be positive, be, be grateful, and pray, and things like that. And then help other people out. For, you know, like help your own self, and then worry, and then start helping other people, and start spreading the word, and helping people get saved, things like that, guys. It, like everything, guys. Every single thing in this thousand-page book, million freaking in the Bible. Okay, and there's everything in here you can relate to. Like there is not one thing. There's literally. Out of everything in here, there's something in here that you can relate to, guys, and it will change your life. It will literally change your life. Like, like oh, I'm telling you guys, you have to believe me. I really hope you do. And uh, you know, like the guys who watch me and stream and whatnot, and you know, keep up my videos. I'm a very positive person, guys, and I'm not gonna lie to y'all about something. And when I tell y'all this, actually helps my life, and it helped my life, and it helped me be a better person. I'm not lying to y'all. Like I'm being honest, one on one, how you know, whatever you may call it. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna do it for the video, guys. So pretty much, just the message of the day is spreading the gospel, spreading the word of God, and things like that. And uh, I'm gonna start doing this series and start doing these videos like this. I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope y'all stay till the end uh, because again, it changed my life, and I really do pray it it, it changes y'all's, and I think it will. Um, so I'm going to start doing these videos every Sunday and those of y'all who 
who uh, stick around for that and support me. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. And those of y'all who don't, uh, I do. I do pray honestly that you know one day y'all come around and uh, you know believe what I actually have to tell y'all, and just know that I'm, I'm not making nothing up, and it can help y'all out if if y'all allow it to, if y'all literally in y'all's mind allow it to, and try to understand, it will turn your whole life around. You're going through breakups, you know, divorce, uh, abuse, whatever it may be, man. It like it helps. I promise. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Oh my gosh, I'm out here dressing nice. I just got back from church, you know, you know. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the video. And this is Strydox here. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, comment and subscribe if you have not already. Oh, okay. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I will see y'all next time.